Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of December at any time in December. I am going to do weeklies for December, but this could resonate at any time in December, okay? It's a December monthly reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to start right here. What do we have for Aries for December? I think you're tired. I think that you're going to be tired this month. You need to relax. At ease. At ease. Just relax. Try to relax. Do your best to just put your feet up and relax. Um, the sun card. Now that is light. That's light, the sun, happiness, something bright, beautiful, glowing, happy. Seeing the light in a very warm place. Now, when you get the sun card, it's about love, okay? And it's healing. There may be a, this may be a time of healing for you. Look at it all. It's so beautiful. It's so warm. It's so bright. I mean, it really is. It's just like being, it's like that uh, glow, you know, getting the glow, getting the, getting shine, shining. In your glory. You may be in your glory this month. In a nice, warm place. Enjoying the sun, enjoying the heat. Maybe, I don't know, it could be just a fireplace. I don't know. But this the sun is about warmth. This is freedom as well. It's where you can just be yourself. It's a new beginning as well. So you may have a new beginning starting this month. Whatever it is, it's beautiful. I mean, the sun card is, is like one of the best cards in the deck. It's being accepted. It's, it's health improving. It's healing. It's like, it's a time of growth. It's also a time of fertility. So you are going through a period of growth. There's also enlightenment here. So you may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening. Whatever is happening, that is being happy right in your glory. Uh, right, right where you want to be. And it feels like shining as well. Um, glowing. Health will be improved. Some of you are becoming enlightened. That's enlightenment right there. Seeing something very, very clearly coming out of a dark period. The moon. Wow. The moon versus the sun. So this is darkness versus light. Unbelievable. So, wow. Wow. I, uh, this is all is not as it seems. All is not as it seems. There's some sort of, of hidden forces here. There's some sort of deception. You may be dealing with somebody that is deceptive. And if you are, you're going to see it. You're going to see very, very cl clearly their deception. All right. So yeah, you may be seeing somebody's deception. There's been some, or that card wouldn't be here. All is not as it seems. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Cancer. Anyway, that is definitely deception. All is not as it seems. You may be dealing with somebody that is um, not who they say they are. But you are going to see something about this person this month. It doesn't have to be a Pisces or a Cancer. It can be anybody else. You could also be deal dealing with a Leo. Um, but I feel like you're going through a period of enlightenment. Um, there's been some some sort of... This is shadow. Uh, this is shadow. Somebody's been hiding something from you. They have. They've been hiding probably who they really are. They've been hiding something. But you're going to see it. You're going to see something. Now this is a, looks like right here we have a, we have, this is like a bag lady of some sort. This is, it feels like this one is a beggar. Somebody is maybe begging you for this and they have plenty, but it feels like they just want more. And I don't know what that means, but 
Um, somebody may be going to New York City. They may have something to do with New York City here. Um, I don't know where that came from. I just thought of it. Um, I feel like there's some sort of manipulation here as well. I don't know if you've been manipulated. Um, I do feel like you need to be careful. There's some shady business going on. Okay, there's some shady business doing going on, and you're going to see it. You're going to see something very, very clearly. Um, hmm. Look at that. That's too many. I'm going to put them back and start over. That's just way too many. So what do we have for Aries? Not too many, just a few. There's some sort of illusion here. All is not as it seems. You need to proceed with caution and follow your gut. You're dealing with a liar. you got a liar around you and they're hiding something and you're going to you're going to see it and maybe I don't know how you're you're going to be shown it. You see that's being shown something. You're going to be shown something. Maybe it's shown from above. I don't know. You're going to be shown something about an individual. That's good. We'll take those. Bat, take care. Enemies are working against you. I know that you have somebody that is working against you, and I feel like you haven't been able to see it. I know that you haven't been able to see it, but you're going to see it sooner or later. Wishbone, a wish is granted. So you, there is a wish that is also going to be granted this month. You're going to be shown something that, and, and whatever you're going to be shown, that's enlightenment, is going to enlighten you about somebody that is working against you. You've got somebody that's working against you sad it's really sad and you haven't been able to see it because this person is so able to manipulate they're so good you think about the moon it's ruled by the shadow they are they're very skilled at manipulation okay so you're dealing with somebody that is very 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 skilled they're able to hide things okay what you see is not what you get you haven't been seeing something, but you're going to see something. You're going to be happy with an outcome. So you may have been wishing for freedom from somebody because this is freedom as well. If you've been wishing for freedom or if you've been wishing for clarity, you're going to get it. You are going to get it. Justice. Wheel of Fortune. Now this is some sort of change in direction. Bringing balance to your life. Doing the right thing. This is the laws of karma. Both these cards. So we have some sort of karmic fated event. We do. We have a karmic fated event here. Okay. That is about to take place. It's going to move you in a new direction. You're going to be going in a new direction. You're going, this is a final ending. Okay, because this is finality. And this is an ending. So it's the final chapter. It's the final ending. It's the final move. This is life changing. A life changing decision. A decision is being made. Everything is going to turn out as it should. The laws of karma, you know, karma sees everything. Thank the Lord. That's all I can say. Thank God that karma sees everything. Or, yeah, thank God. Thank, thank the Lord that God sees everything. Or karma never loses an address. This is the laws of karma. There's consequences. There's two sides to everything. And in the in God and karma sees straight through a situation. We have somebody here that has been hiding something. They think they're going to get away with it, but they're not. I don't know if there's going to be some news of legalities this month. There may be. But that Wheel of Fortune is very positive. There's positive change. I don't know if you're dealing with a Libra as well. You could be dealing with a Libra. 
but this is moving in a new direction. It's, it's allowing, it's accepting, accepting the outcome. But seeing things very, very, very clearly, you're going to get some sort of clarity in regards. I don't know if it's about a legal situation. Maybe it's about fortune because this is a wheel of fortune. I don't know if there's going to be some uh, legal, I don't know, consequences about money because this is fortune. I don't know. There could be some uh, legal news, news of legalities, put it that way. In regards to somebody's money or fortune or something like that. But this is the wheel of life spinning somebody in a new direction. Um, it's the end. It is the end of a, of, a, of a cycle. A cycle is ending. There's been some sort of trial, right? There, there's been some sort of test. And I feel like it's coming to the end. It's, it's, this is the end of a karmic contract. Everything is going to turn out as it should. It is. You may be you may be doing court or going to court or something like that. Ooh, chariot reverse. Now we have majors, all majors. Major, 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 all majors. So the universe is causing a very powerful change for you this month. The universe is in control. The universe is granting one of your wishes. You have been wishing for something. And I don't know if it's wishing for clarity or wishing for freedom or wishing for happiness or wishing to be healed or whatever the hell you've been wishing for. Excuse my language. Your wish is about to come true. But it's not a person. Okay? I don't think it's about a person coming in and sweeping you off your feet. I think it has to do with clarity or enlightenment or something like that. Now, that is the, well, I just need to say it one more time. The universe is guiding you in a new direction. But you may, you may be having a hard time going in that direction with the chariot reverse. That's resisting. Putting the brakes on, you know, trying not to go. Staying put. Unable to master emotions. Uh, lack of discipline. Lack of control. It's out of your control. You can't control it. You're not in charge this time. And that's really hard for Aries when you're not in charge. I feel like you're not in charge. You're not in the driver's seat. The universe is. It's funny that I had to say that again. The universe is driving you in December. And you, I'm sure I'm going to get somebody, oh, my free will overrides. Bullshit. You signed a plan. Okay, you signed a contract when you came down to this earth. It's time. This is destined change. You're not in the fucking driver's seat. The universe is. Whatever is happening is going to make you happy. But it's not what you think. All is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here that are moving you in a different direction. And you are not going to have the strength or the willpower or the discipline or the ability to fight it. And if you do, then there will be karmic consequences. A decision is being made. It's not, there's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. It's out of your control. Ooh, yikes. Now that four of swords, remember I said tired. You, I don't know if you're tired. You need to take a break. You need to relax. You may need to retreat. Uh, somebody may be very ill. They may be very sick. They've been praying. They've been praying for something better. They have. And the law, the universal law has heard their prayers. Okay, your prayers have been heard, and I know that they have. And even if they're subconscious, okay, they've heard, they've heard. And they're, but they're not answering you the way that you think. So keep that in mind. 
You better keep that in mind. It's not, you cannot predict how this is going to end. This is the universe in control. The universe is definitely uh, spinning you out of a situation because it's time for balance. It's time to, it's time for this to end. This trial is over. It's over. It's time. Four of Swords, that is a need to relax, a need to breathe, a need to retreat. Now that is also the death of a person or idea. So it's the end of something, definitely. Something is coming to the end. There's no, this is no life and there's a better life. There is a better life because this is life giving energy. There's a better life. And you've been delayed, you've been, you've been stalling, you haven't been making any moves, you've been uh, having a hard time. Something could be coming to a dead stop as well. This is like a dead end. May have something to do with a vehicle as well because we have wheels here. So there's somebody that could have car issues. If you, if you do, I would be careful with your wheels, you know. Um, check your wheels, check your tires, something like that, or your vehicle or your car or whatever. Anyhow, um, four of swords, a need to heal. I think you will be withdrawing. You may be feeling empty and dead inside and that, and that could be subconsciously. That could be subconsciously wishing for something when you're in bed. You know, when you're in bed, when you're praying or whatever. When you're praying, you may have been praying for something. That's in, I don't know, maybe you're doing it out loud. Or you've been doing it at night when you're in bed or when you're sleeping or whatever. They heard. They heard. Death. My God, so this is a transformation. It is a transition. It is the end. It is the end of a delay. It's the end of stagnation. It is time for a profound life change. That is all there is to it. This is a profound life change. This is an ending that leads to a new life. You have a new life that is about to begin. You do. You absolutely do. But it comes after a separation or a loss because death does involve separation and loss and letting go. And it's, it hurts. It hurts to let go. So this is, this is a separation or a loss with a new beginning to follow. This is a major, major, major ending. We got all majors except for one guard. This is totally out of your control. There is going to be an ending here. And it changes your life drastically. Drastically. But it also... It also... Uh, now, if you think about this, we got the magician on the bottom. The magician takes action to bring success, but must be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. Another major. So you will... You will be bringing in or starting a new life. But before you start this new life, there's something that's leaving your life. Or you're leaving something behind. This is a golden opportunity. Okay, you are going to... Be taking action. You're going to be in charge once the universe moves you in this new direction you're going to have a divine connection as well because this is a divine connection this is an awakening it is an epiphany of some sort it's a wake up call it's a spiritual awakening you are going to go through a spiritual awakening this is changing you it's going to change your character it's going to change you in a very very big way you're going to be gaining As above, so below. This is what you asked for. You asked for this. You asked. You asked for this. 
Now it's time. Now it's time for your new life. You're going to have to let go. I feel like you've been feeling empty inside. You've been feeling dead inside or feeling lost or maybe even sick or ill or whatever. Having a hard time getting up. But this is definitely the end. It is the end of a struggle. It really is. It's the end of staying put. You've been staying put. You've been resisting. But that's over. It is completely, completely, completely over. Your, your new life is about to begin. A decision is being made. This this cycle is over. You asked for happiness. You asked. You asked for this to be over with. Your wish is being granted. You are also going to see something very, very clearly about another person or people because those enemies are working against you. You're going to get some sort of clarity. Something is going to be shown to you. You're, create, you're going to be creating a new life for yourself when this ending happens. You're going to be going through a major transformation. This is a time of transition for you. So it's going to be, and that's why it's funny that I said tired. You're tired, I think, and I don't know if it's some spiritual download or spiritual awakening or spiritual enlightenment or I don't know what. I mean, whatever's happening, your vibration appears to be raising. You know, your vibration is, is uh, you're raising your vibration. Coming out of darkness, coming into light, okay? For this is from darkness to light, okay? You are going to be coming into a better period, and it starts this month. They are about to bring you something that you wish for. You prayed for this. You prayed for it. I don't think it's another person. I feel like it's freedom. I feel like it's clarity. I feel like it's a spiritual enlightenment, a spiritual awakening. It's the beginning of a new life where you, it's almost like you start from scratch. The decision is made. It's out of your hands. Universe has made a decision that it is time. It is time. Your wish is, your wish, or your wish. Oh my God. I just looked at this again. Your wish has totally been granted. See, I was saying it praying here, as above, so below. Your wish has is being a writ, a wish is being granted. It's not in the form of a person. Okay? It's not. It's not, just so you know. It's some other wish. Good luck. <laughs>